Thank you so much for checking out another video here on my channel. As you guys see, today's title and today's video is all about my purse collection and giving you a little bit of a updated version. I was looking back at my videos and realized I haven't done a video like this in about three years, if you can believe it. And back then, I want to say it's somewhere in the description of that video. I think I have about 30 or 40 purses. I want to say I probably have the same amount now. Um, it's grown, it's decreased a little. Uh, I did just buy two new purses today, which I'm very excited to share with you all. So I'm going to be introducing those first in a second. But I also wanted to go through, of course, what is in my bag. So let's just start off with that before I even show you my purse collection. I also do want to mention, to the best of my memory I am going to try to tell you all where I got each purse from how much it was if I got a discount on the purse and I most likely will not be able to help as far as finding availability for that purse because a lot of these I've had for several years so they were either from discount stores or they were thrifted or whatnot. So I most likely will not be able to link the majority of them, but I did just want to give you guys an updated uh, version, an updated uh, collection of mine because I am a self-proclaimed, wow, I can't speak today, self-proclaimed purse addict. So. In my in every purse that I ever switch to, and believe me, y'all, I switch often, I have my sunglasses case, which I actually recently got at Target. This one is so cute. It says, don't forget me, which is so fitting. Not that I ever forget my sunglasses, but it's always good to have a hard case for your glasses because I have actually broken a couple of pair by having soft cases. I've broken sunglasses, I've broken regular prescription glasses, and it wasn't pretty, and it was kind of costly. I only did that once or twice before I learned my lesson to buy only hard cases from this point on. So I did want to mention that these are currently actually in the dollar spot at Target. So if you see them, grab them. They're three bucks if I remember correctly. I also, of course, have my wallet with my driver's license, my cards, all of that, change, what have you. I also carry a pack of tissues because especially, you know, always, you always need tissues. Someone's always sneezing around you or you're sneezing and it's always good to have a pack. Uh, also along those lines, good thing since, you know, that time of the month comes along once a month. I do have usually one or two panty liners. In there just in case for either right before my period or right after um, just to be on the safe side I also have usually one or two little snacks just in case my blood sugar decreases heavily or something and I need a little quick blood sugar pick-me-up I always carry one or two little snacks I of course carry my reusable and foldable straw which as you see collapses into itself and into the little container. I absolutely love this thing. It is one of the best purchases I ever made. Um, I believe I share it in a like eco-friendly sustainable video, which I will do my best to link down below if I remember. Um, of course, we're still in a pandemic, still needing to wash your hands, still needing to sanitize. So I have a pumpkin cupcake anti back uh, hand gel from Bath and Body Works and I have it in a cute little holder that looks like a ring and so yeah wanted to share that because you know we all need to keep our hands sanitized nowadays for obvious reasons so we don't get that you know <coughs> COVID. Um, I carry my attachable sunglasses because all of my prescription glasses I can't of course put any sunglasses over them and to protect my eyes from the sun, I like these little clip-ons. I carry a pill case. Usually, you know, what's in there is like the, just the absolute must-haves. Uh, what's in here? There is Zofran. 
there, you know, for any like nausea, whatnot, um, Advil, a couple of other things just in case I need them. And of course, last but not least, I carry lip balm with me absolutely everywhere I go. This is one of my favorites. It is the Rel Red Velvet Flavored Lip Balm. Um, I always get them from the dollar store. The They're honestly one of the best places to pick up lip balm. I also usually buy these when they're available at the dollar store and they are the watermelon flavor. I swear by these. These keep my lips so moisturized, especially during the winter, which thankfully we are now out of. Um, but these keep my, li my lips moisturized so well. All right, so let's get into this. This is a purse collection after all. I am going to introduce the two new purses that I bought today. I'm unbelievably excited to share them with you. I got a vegan leather Badgley Mishka purse. Originally, it's, I don't even remember. I'd have to look it up. Y'all can look it up. But it was too gorgeous not to get, I got it for $25 at Marshall's today. And I'm just unbelievably excited. I may even switch to it. Here's the inside if you guys want to see. I'm not going to show necessarily inside of every purse because that would just be too long of a video. But I just had to show you all how it looks, how gorgeous it is. And then I picked up this cute Steve Madden crossbody, which also can be a little shoulder purse. It has a cute little earbuds carrying case, which I don't have earbuds for my Apple iPhone but I can just use this as a cute little tiny wallet if I'm just going like on a quick run somewhere and I don't want to carry a whole purse with me. I can just put a card, my driver's license in here, off I go. Um, but yeah, so adorable. This one, also at Marshall's, $25. Technically $24.99, but you know, we're just rounding. Um, the next one, as you can tell by the two bags that you just saw, I am a huge, huge quilted, absolute aficionado, if that's how to say it properly. Correct me if I'm wrong, aficionado, aficionado. However you say it, this girl loves the quilted look. It is my favorite. It is classic me. Anybody that knows me knows this is the quilted look, the chain look like me to a T. My next one is a cute little blue and white. Oh, I did forget to mention, um, I don't remember the price of this exactly. I do remember I did get it at a thrift store in Gainesville, Florida. I wanna say this was, oh, that's another thing. If I don't remember the exact price, I will mention the kind of price range if um if I remember specifically or I'll try to give like my best guess anyway this I want to say was between like 10 and 20 dollars it's a really good steal I don't use it much but I absolutely love it because you know quilted um blue and white crossbody I think I got this at Walmart many years ago so it was probably like also same kind of price range between 10 and 20 and I just I love it it's a really cute like summer and spring kind of vibe purse looks you know looks good it's cute colors you will not see any pink by the way in any of these um, I'm not a pink gal when it comes to other you know other colors sure pink that's a no-go from that's a no-go for Mo Anyway, um, also, quilted crossbody. See, told y'all, I'm a fanatic with the quilted look. Um, this was from, oh my God, I got it recently. I, I, oh, actually, I did not purchase this one. I actually got this from a neighbor that was giving it away. Uh, and that's how I got this one, was from a local neighbor. So this one was actually free. I will be counting them up all at the end, 
I'm not going to count as I go or else I'll forget the number. This one was recently from Target. Um, none of these, these last few ones except for the Badgley Mishka and the Steve Madden are pretty much like no names. Like this one doesn't have a brand name. The black quilted one doesn't have a brand name. I'm pretty sure this one doesn't either because it's just one of those like Walmart brands. So it's just kind of like an off brand. Keep forgetting to mention brands. I'm trying. Yeah, this one doesn't have like a brand because it's just, it's a no brander, but that's okay. You will see a lot of those. We dig no branders, but we also dig brands as well. Um, this is Universal Thread uh, Goods Company by Target. It is a cute little pocketbook with chain moments. Very good for spring. Not really into summer just because this is a like velvet kind of e-purse. So I don't really tend to use it any time else other than the spring. But this is a pretty recent new purchase. I used it for about two months um, before I retired it for a different one for a different purse from my collection. Um, but I will eventually go back to it. This one for sure. I remember exactly where I got it. This one is a crossbody that says be kind. I purchased this one actually right after right after the uh, the shooting here in Pittsburgh and which was now three years ago, which I can't believe. Um, but I purchased it right after. I thought this was a terrific message to send at the time to anybody and everybody when I was out and about, especially after that day. And it's always just, you know, especially with everything that we've been through, everything that we are currently going through, it's just a message always to send. So this is really an anytime purse. This was from five below. So it was five bucks right on the dot. Let's see. Um, this next one was a purchase um, on Poshmark, I believe, um, or Mercari. I'm trying to remember which one. This comes with a detachable chain, as y'all can see, um, but it is a gray, like off-white gray quilted bag. Can be a shoulder bag, but I use it as a crossbody. This was, oh my, I'm trying to remember the price, about 20 bucks. Um, so I'm just sharing the prices with you just so you guys can get an idea of really like what I generally like to spend on a purse or what I, um, or, you know, what I think is reasonable. The majority of my purses, as you all will be able to see through the rest of going through my collection, I don't really tend to spend more than I think 30, 40 bucks at most on a purse. Um, if there's any in my collection that are more than that. They, it was usually a gift that was given or something along those lines. I think the most the most expensive purchase uh, purse purchase I've ever made I gotta think hard about that one actually was like a hundred bucks somewhere around there give or take but yeah this one cute little green army kind of uh, shoulder purse. This was given to me by one of my best friends, Ginger, and I absolutely love it. Good for any time. I used it. When did I use it last? I used it around Halloween and I had Hocus Pocus, uh, like movie Hocus Pocus buttons all over it. So I like decked it out and everybody was like complimenting all the buttons anytime that they saw them. Um, and I absolutely love this purse and it means a lot to me because it's from one of my best friends. So I will always be holding on to it and treasure it, even though it's just a simple purse. Uh, but yeah, free from the best friend. Uh, let's see the Rosetti shoulder bag. I also got this from a neighbor for free, if I remember correctly. Um, and it was just a cute little bag has a bunch of different areas, uh, like three different areas inside detachable, uh, detachable, um, whatchamacallit, wow, uh, strap so I can change it up if I want it to be a crossbody. So like I said, that one was also free. 
This one, oh my god, this one is one of my all-time favorites. I don't bring it out often enough just because I like to make sure that nothing happens to it. I could not tell you, even if I tried, where this bag is from. It is definitely one of the oldest purses that I have in my collection. And I want to say it was from some thrift store, honestly, if I remember correctly. I think it was like five bucks or less, if, if memory serves me correct. I absolutely love the black and white striped and the hearts look. Um, anybody that knows me and watches these videos knows that your girl loves a good heart moment on anything. So I, I, this is one purse out of my whole collection that if I absolutely like had to get rid of for whatever reason, the majority of my purses, which I hope to never ever have to do. Um, and I don't think I ever would have ever have to be in that position, but this is one of these, one of them that I would keep. Um, and certainly one that, you know, if I had out of my whole collection, if there was a fire, God forbid, knock on wood, that I had to save, this would be one of them. I know that may sound silly, but it's true. Okay? It's true. This one, crossbody. That one also was a no brand. Sorry, I just blanked on the other two. Uh, this is Rosetti, the green one, the green army one, I don't think has any specific brand, but I'm going to look just to be on the safe side for y'all. Nope. Nope. Sorry about that. Yeah. And this one also no brand. Yeah. No brand. All right. So this one, Eos. Um, trying to remember where I got this from. I'm honestly trying to remember. Uh, I got it somewhat-ish recently. I'm just trying to remember where. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, one of those possibly, or Ross. Um, Gianni Bernini is the brand. And I wanna say 10, 15 bucks, if memory serves. This one, oh my God, this one was a major, oh, fall in love from the get-go, just absolute, oh my God. I, I died when I saw this detachable strap, obviously. This was from Target, and it is the MMS brand. I believe it was from Target. I'm trying to remember where else I would have gotten it. I believe it was from Target. I could be wrong. I do know for sure, not like exact price, but I do know I spent around 20 bucks or so on this. Cause when I saw it, I just, I had to have it. There was like no way about it. There was no, I remember being with a girlfriend of mine when I bought this and I just, I just stood there. I remember I stood there, saw the purse, my mouth must've dropped to the floor fell in love. There was no talking me out of it at all whatsoever. This one crossbody brand is American Eagle. I believe I bought this through Payless many years ago before they closed down. Like they went bankrupt and then they've recently come back up as a company, I guess. I don't know what happened there, but anywho, they're back as a brand. So if y'all like Payless and like um, the purses that are sold through Payless, this was one of them. I think it was on sale. I think I got a discount too. So I want to say it was like 10, 15 bucks, somewhere around there. I'm not even halfway through, by the way. <laughs> I want to mention that. Um, cute little crossbody small bag doubles as a wallet right when you open it in the front and has two cute little sections here uh, and it's turquoise with gray hearts I don't know if y'all can see them or how well it's going to focus hopefully you can see that this was definitely a Walmart purchase I don't shop at Walmart 
uh, anymore. I have it in a couple of years. I don't like the brand. I wasn't planning to go on that little rant, but I don't like what the company stands for. I don't like who they're supported by. I don't like what they support as a company. Not a fan, so I don't make any purchases from there anymore. There actually, I know for sure, is one or two other purses from Walmart, but again, those purchases were from a few years ago, just FYI. So this one was about 10 bucks or less. I think it was like $7.99 or $8.99. This one is a also one that if I absolutely had to get rid of a collection or there was a fire or whatever, this one would be one that I'd save. It is has a lot of sentimental meaning to me. My aunt bought it for me when I was a teenager um, or like preteen age and she bought it for me at Banana Republic. I believe it was like $15, $20 Canadian and I just, I absolutely love this purse and it means a lot to me. Um, so again, forever purse. This one I actually like to store inside of it just because it keeps it all well and protected. It is a cute little sequined 1920s-esque with chain little pocketbook. I absolutely love it. It's by Bijou Turner. Um, I think is how to pronounce that. Um, I tried my best, but I absolutely love it. I love like that it's 1920s. I'm a total vintage purse kind of gal when it comes to uh, when it comes to those kinds of purses, like the closure and just the look of it. Very razzle dazzle. Um, again, these next few are gonna be quilted, so just FYI. Uh, I got this ooh, 10 plus years ago. Cute little shoulder bag, meant to look like a, um, a Chanel purse, so it's like a faux Chanel. And I wanna say, between 10 and $20, I think. If I remember correctly, there is no brand to it whatsoever, um, but that's kind of what I liked about it, is there was no brand and it looks like a Chanel from far away. Your girl obviously likes brands, but not brands. Excuse me, happy medium. This one, also quilted crossbody. This one is also from American Eagle. Yep, yeah, American Eagle. And I got it at Payless. About 15 bucks, if memory serves me correct. Uh, let's see. I have quite a few wallets, too, that I, like, go through. But that would make this video even longer than it already is. And we're already at, like almost 25 minutes, so I'm not gonna bore you with all the different wallets. I don't have that many, I wanna say like, about 10, maybe, give or take. Um, this one was from, this is a Bagalini crossbody in red, and I love the inside because it's a really pretty shade of blue. Um, this one was from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and about 20 bucks. Told you, quilted. Your girl loves the quilted look. It's quintessential Marlo. Backpack purse. I recently have started to love backpack purses in the past few years, like nobody's freaking business. Um, this one is also American Eagle. I think Target or Pay less, one of those. I want to say Target, but I could be wrong. But yeah, quilted. I got this from a store that no longer exists, actually. <laughs> um, they went under, but it used to be called Charming Charlie. I don't know if they exist anywhere. Please comment down below if any of you all still have a Charming Charlie store. Um, it does come with a detachable strap so you can count, uh, carry it. That's what I really love about some of these is the detachable strap because sometimes your girl just wants to carry it, you know, as a handbag. Sometimes she wants to do a crossover body kind of moment and you get to choose and I like that. Um, but yeah, this one 
was 20 25 bucks somewhere around there from charming charlie but seriously y'all tell me because here they went out of business i want to say like two years ago somewhere in that vicinity it is no longer i actually used to have a charming this exact bag from charming charlie that i bought at the store then for whatever reason like a year later decided to sell it or donate it and then over the course of the next I want to say like one to three years somewhere in that vicinity I kept thinking about it over and over and over went to Poshmark thank God for Poshmark because I bought the same bag uh, back to backpack purses this one is Jones New York signature just a simple black crossbody. This one was from, I got it Ross, if memory serves. And this one was about 15, 20 bucks. Told you Walmart would come back. Another backpack purse. I remember falling madly in love with this purse. Still am, by the way. Um, I might need to actually bring it out in the next few months um, because, you know, spring, color, all that gorgeousness um, the weather is phenomenal I don't really like to use it so much in this summer because like when you're sweating and the kind of material it is like it can get just wet and you don't want to deal with cleaning it and all of that so spring is a really good time to bring this out this like I said was Walmart 15 or 20 dollars give or take but yeah I saw this purse had to have it couldn't leave the store without it literally couldn't like I walked around thinking about it possibly reconsidering that purchase and I literally kept thinking about the that backpack purse the entire freaking time I was walking around and went back grabbed it purchased it the next couple are Vera Bradley I wasn't a huge Vera Bradley fan by the way when I was younger and I became one uh, I want to say in the past 10 years so this is one of them it is a crossbody it has a strap inside I have other Vera Bradley stored in there just you know for protection um, and to keep them their colors all vibrant um, so FYI if you're ever looking for a good way to store purses I have a huge storage bin that is right beside me where I'm pulling these from and that's where I store all my purses to make sure to keep them well protected, but yeah. So, crossbody, shoulder bag, easily convertible. Also, Vera Bradley, little pocketbook moment. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. Also, Vera Bradley, crossbody, shoulder bag. It's versatile. You can change it into whatever. I like that a lot of my bags can go in between shoulder and crossbody. The way I actually never mentioned this through all of mentioned through all of this collection showing so far. I've never mentioned how I like to wear my purses the most. As you might be able to tell, I usually do crossbody. That's usually my favorite. Back to backpack purse for a second. I have this beauty. Um, this one, actually all of them. So all of these I bought either through the Vera Bradley website or I'm trying to remember if I bought any of these somewhere else. Now that I'm thinking about it, pretty sure I didn't. I am almost positive, like 99% positive that all of these were purchased online. I may have purchased possibly one or two of them inside a store, but again, Vera Bradley's prices are all the same no matter where you go. Uh, I think the majority of them were between like 15 and $30, like I said. And I did use a discount, most likely on all of them or any of, them, any of the Vera Bradleys that I have. Another, backpack this one is obviously a lot bigger than this one as you can tell 
Um, this one I got for free thanks to a neighbor that was getting rid of it. And it's just, it's black and white and a little hint of like beige and gray. And I just thought it's, it's too cute to pass up and let somebody else have it. I wanted it. I haven't had a huge reason to use it quite yet. I'm waiting for a perfect moment. I know there one will come, but yeah, you should see that to here right now. Um, on the side of the camera. <laughs> That's how big the purse collection is. And I'm almost finished. Nine West. This is another favorite. I remember purchasing this at a Beals outlet store in Gainesville. And this is another absolute favorite. Would die for it. You know, fire. Had to minimize my collection kind of. Choosing of purses. I would save this one. I absolutely love it. I am a huge Nine West fan. Obviously, as you all can tell, I don't have a lot of Nine West. I think I only have like maybe one or two. I think that's possibly is my only one. Maybe like one more um, Nine West, possibly, but maybe. Not sure. Um, Kenneth Cole Reaction. Oh, this one was purchased at the Avenue store. Um, if you don't know what that store is, never heard of it, never saw it, never went in, went in one. Um, it is a store for plus size women. I'm technically right in the border of plus size and not plus size. So, you know, depending on sizes and clothes, cause obviously everybody is different. Every body, um, and everybody is different. Um, but this one I got for 15, 20 bucks at Avenue. And it's just, it's a good, like, professional, you know, shoulder purse moment um, that is always, you know, always looks good anytime. And then we're getting to the last uh, one or two here. I think last, oh no, I, I may be wrong. Last three, four. Okay. Last four. All right. This one was also purchased at Avenue. I saw this, it immediately reminded me of the Veronica Mars purse um, from, I believe, season two and three of Veronica Mars. And I've always wanted that purse, but everywhere I've looked and anybody who like hand makes that purse, it's like 250 plus and your girl ain't paying that kind of price even for that kind of bag. So I bought the nearest thing. It was on sale. I already, I also had like a discount code. So I believe it was like 25, 30 bucks um, after the discounts and all of that. Oh my God, this thing is about to topple over if you can see it. Um, and then these are in a special bag because <laughs> these are big brand names. Um, that I make sure to keep well protected for a good reason. Um, because just to me, they're worth protecting that well. Um, this one is a coach purse. I used to have more coach purses, but sold them, um, because I just, I needed to downsize my coach collection. Not that it was insane. I only had maybe like three or four other coach purses, but your girl just needed to downsize. So I went with this one. I kept it. It's a good shoulder one. This one actually, so remember when I was talking about prices, I think the most I've ever paid for was $50 because I remember this one being at a local thrift store for 50 and I looked at it, fell in love with it, almost walked out and the friend that I was with convinced me to get it. So 50 bucks well spent. Um, Next one is Mark by Mark Jacobs. Also a crossbody, it has the strap inside, um, which I don't need to show, but I fell in love with it and it is gorgeous teal color. I don't know how well that's coming up on screen. It looks more blue on screen, but it is like a teal, dark teal, bluish color. That one was Probably 
about 40 or 50 bucks, somewhere around there, give or take. And then the last one, also I will forever keep for sentimental reasons because this one, that I'm, my last one that I'm about to share with you is from my sister. She gifted me this. I had never before and always wished since I was little for a Prada bag. I finally got it. Um, it has strap inside for like crossbody or shoulder um, so you can, you know, versatile in that way. It has buckles to close. Um, but yeah, it is, I love this bag with my whole heart. Um, I recently got it in the last like year or so as a Hanukkah gift and I just, it, it means so much to me. Um, not just because it's Prada and it was always like a dream to have a Prada. It is also a dream to have a Burberry that will ha hopefully happen sometime in the next couple of years. Um, whether I buy it with a discount or I get it as a gift from somebody, um, you know, I wouldn't say no to free Burberry, just saying. Um, but yeah, so that's my bag collection. Um, and as I'm going to try to count them up really quickly here, or actually because I want to try and put them back somewhat organized, I'm going to count, um, as I'm putting them back and check the description, um, for how many bags are in my collection. Uh, or, you know, I may tease it somewhere in the thumbnail or in the title, maybe, possibly. Um, and that's it. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I want to say it's probably like all of these combined. Probably easily around 40 bags or so. That's going to be my guess. Let's say... Hmm... We're going to go for 38. That's going to be my guess. Check the description, like I said, for the definite number, whether I tease it in the thumbnail or title or not, check the description for the official total. But yeah, so thanks again for checking out this video. I hope you all enjoyed me going through my collection and kind of seeing, like I said, where the self-proclaimed purse addict part of me comes from. Um, I do like my shoes just like any, you know, any other person. I do collect a few other things as well, but purses, everybody that knows me and now you all know that that's, that's my, that's my crutch. I, I fold when I, when I see a good purse and if I keep thinking about it, I will go back to get it. I will find discounts if I possibly can to buy it and yeah, your girl loves a good a good a good purse all right well if you all have any suggestions for any other videos leave them in the comment area down below make sure of course to give this video a thumbs up letting me know that you liked it and enjoyed it and if you have not make sure to subscribe to my channel I have videos from years past I know I haven't been coming out with a whole lot of videos lately I apologize life has been pretty hectic. Um, so I'm trying, I'm doing my best. I also have a podcast, which I did want to mention, check out my podcast. It's called have at it. It is on all major podcast platforms. So Spotify, iTunes, um, pretty, uh, anchor of course is where I have the podcast, but yeah, pretty much anywhere where you can stream podcasts, you can find it. Um, so definitely check that out. I will make sure to have a link to it in the description below. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Bye.